Hello friends, welcome back to my channel. I'm your friend Vicky and in today's video, I'll be showing you how to make a solar parabolic reflector using a simple satellite dish. At the end of the video, you will be amazed by the power of uh, this solar parabolic reflector and it is a very simple, very easy DIY. But you should always be mindful of the fact that uh, we are concentrating the sun rays at a single focal point, okay? So that could be dangerous, that could be harmful to your body, especially your eyes. So it is always recommended that you wear an eyeglasses whenever you are dealing with this kind of stuff, the reflective kind of stuff, okay? When you were a child, you must have used a magnifying glass for making fire using sun's rays, right? So it kind of uh, concentrate it's at a one place and it, it it raises the temperature and it causes fire, okay? So that is precisely what we'll be doing. But in this case, we'll be reflecting light and concentrating, okay? So first of all, let's understand how this works and how this will be working in, in our DIY, okay? So there are a lot of satellite frequencies that are surrounding this place, but uh, what this does is it concentrate that uh, waves into a single point over here and that is collected by your LNB and then it is sent out to the dish TV or uh, whatever your uh, set top box is, okay? So th the job of this dish is to concentrate the signals or the waves at one place. So that is exactly the principle we are looking for. In this case, we'll be concentrating the sun rays. So in commercially available solar cooker, the uh, shape of parabola is uh, like this, okay? It has a big shape and that is the reason why you can find the focal point somewhere inside the dish itself but since this is a shallow shallow parabola and uh, this originally was meant for reflecting the rays outside the dish okay so that is the reason why we have a shallow shape and that is the reason why we'll be having our focal point somewhere around here so in this case i have used this uh, reflective taping it is uh, used in automobiles or cars etc for uh, making uh, jackets reflective for especially for bikers but it comes with a problem you can see that uh, the finishing is not is not perfect as you can see you can see that there are let, let me show you yeah now it is visible you can see that there are problems over here then the, and it is not completely reflective as you can see if you had a mirror then things would have been really different you could have actually seen this camera in this focus but it is uh, now it is diffusing the light and it the reflectivity of this material is actually quite less so that is the reason why while using this it was not producing good results okay so uh, that is the reason why i am uh, making this video and updating this video after some tests and i'll be finally uh, using mirrors for this but we are not be using the normal glass mirrors there is something called as acrylic mirrors available in the market so these are these are really versatile and let me show you a few of them three by three centimeters and it has an adhesive over here so you can easily stick it like this and there is a paper which masks the currently it has masked the mirror okay so this is a protective layer also there so this are mirrors i have brought from amazon and uh, it is from Bikri Kendra, a seller called as Bikri Kendra. If you are in India, then the link is in the description box. You can check it out. One more thing I forgot to tell you is that I am using this. I am testing this out for a few days now. I have been using this for warming or uh, heating water for bathing purposes. The T max that was registered in this was uh, 56 degrees Celsius. That is quite a lot because you require only 40 to 42 degrees of uh, of water for bathing and uh, this is a tank of i mean a sh small utensil of made up of copper and it is 11 liters 10 or 11 liters so 10 liters of water warm water and then you add cold water to make it like 14 15 liters and so one person can easily bath for the 15 liters so so normally it takes like uh, one hour to heat this uh, from uh, let's say 28 degrees celsius to 52 degrees celsius 10 liters of water using this parabolic dish so friends, uh, I have uh, removed the reflective tape and uh, there are still some marks left due to the adhesive. The rest of the portion is smooth. So I'll remove this and then we can stick our acrylic mirrors. Okay friends, so we have cleaned everything like this and I, I had to use a uh, soap and detergent and um, had to use that uh, scotch bright so that we could remove all the adhesive. The surface is quite smooth right now and we have stuck a tape like this so that we get a reference point and we can stick our mirrors adjacent to this 
this line okay so friends we are on the way on this and we'll meet directly after completion so friends this is our final product and it is out for a testing so this is in the month of december 2021 the temperature right now is around 23 to 24 degree celsius so friends first test will be the paper burning test in the previous version where i used the reflective tape the paper failed to burn so now let's test out whether the paper burns here or not so we have found the focal point and we'll point this paper at a focal point for few seconds and after few seconds you can actually see that there is a smoke and finally there is a fire going on this means that it will be more productive and it will save our time especially when we are warming or heating the water so friends we are ready with our final setup so i am using a black colored copper utensil the one which i showed you earlier in the video the temperature in this would be around 20 to 22 degrees celsius sorry but i don't have my thermometer because this clip was recorded six months after i actually made the parabolic dish okay so by the time the thermometer uh, stopped working so that is the bad point but uh, i can guess how much the temperature is based on my previous experience so friends at this point there is our focal point and I have to move the dish after let's say 20 minutes because the sun is moving and the focal point keeps moving with that as well. So you have to adjust it every 15 to 20 minutes. So friends it is almost 45 minutes and I have adjusted the focal point at least two times. So that is the important thing to note over here. So let's check out how much the temperature is. So friends the lid is already hot and we can actually feel it that it is hot you can actually feel that the water is also hot i'll show you the zoom version of this so that uh, whenever the water gets heated right so there is a generation of a design i mean the uh, hot water comes up and the uh, it is displacing the water and you can actually see that phenomena happening so that is the only uh, uh, parameter that we can actually see at this moment because the thermometer was not working so let me zoom this out for you so friends if i dip my hand inside this water i can actually feel that it is very hot i'm guessing it would be around like uh, 55 degrees celsius the temperature of the water so 10 liter of water with 55 degrees celsius we dilute it some and we can use this water for bathing for one person okay we can also club this parabolic dish with uh, another project that i did copper coil water heater and this is it and i have already posted a video on this how i made this so friends we can also club this two together and make a very versatile water heater and i have actually tested this for a few times and the time was actually reduced to 25 minutes so friends if you want to see a video on both working together just drop me a comment i'll definitely make a video in it this experiment is successful and i hope you like this video please like share subscribe to my channel in case of any questions please write down in the comment box i'll definitely answer to it and if you are a science buff you can actually think of making this and harness the power of sun thank you and have a safe time